Hi, how are you? I'm trying today to show you how to uh, draw an elevation. Um, just a basic exercise for uh, year one architecture and AutoCAD student. I previously drawn this section and uh, I'll continue to draw this elevation. I highly recommend for you to keep uh, a copy of your section aside during the process of drawing an elevation. Similar concept that we use in drawing a section when we had to cut the building each line with a section line uh, that cut everything walls and windows to be taken down except this time that you are not cutting anything actually you are going to see things and that means you need only one line here for example if we intend to draw the south elevation for example take the lines vertically and then any line that define the edges have to be taken like this one this one for example in here we have a line and then curve so wait until you see the end point of the line and then take one and then here a word of an advice here to take whatever you find a section or whatever section you find always keep it on the side actually and so you can take the lines from you don't need to redraw again things so that's as you can see already give us the height of the roof and again you can take this here yeah, straightforward process so easy actually so from the section you take this line from the roof the hidden line or from the roof himself here the parapet you take the outer line and thus you have an actual you have an actual higher level or roof and same thing here we get rid of this line extra lines that we have and technically we done here yeah. and again highly recommended for you to draw the exterior lines I'm missing here some curve maybe I I have to fix that anyway so it's a good idea to draw the outer line then you draw then you come and draw the doors and all that stuff so don't try to model a part and then the window a solid or a wall and then whatever you find inside just instead actually draw the outer existed lines and then for the walls for the mass and then do the, in, the inside uh, details like doors and windows just before we go we need to take another line here and same thing that I almost forgot in here which is this so I can just extend this one because that's straight and then curve so don't forget to do the differences of masses in the higher levels not only on the ground floor now let's do this last step which is the door so take the door same thing here again that's wrong I need to fix but I'm too lazy to be to do that actually I'll leave that for you the height and again it's 2.2 I'm not really aware of uh, that's a millimeter or metric. Let me double check. It's a good idea to check. It's uh, okay. It's a millimeter, so 2200. Technically, it should be again, it should be that aligned with the high level of the window. Now we'll just draw a rectangle, get rid of all that stuff again all right and then you can offset that for example 0.05 oops again it's offset 50 sorry for that units and split that into two and I think we need to exit that line X. We can extend that, extend that, and extend that, and get rid of this interior door. Add a polyline. 
to represent the moving part of the door it's an actual uh, representation or actually an actual indication that there's a hinge here and it's moving that one to, to the right side and this one to the left side I will leave the way of uh, adding layers and make that in the correct layer where like colors everything I'll leave that for you it's easy to be done just to understand the basics of how to draw an elevation thank you and have a nice night